friends, welcome to my ironing corner. Today I'm going to clean my iron with the Rowenta Soul Plate Cleaning Kit and I'm going to give you my review of how I like it. This is a kit for cleaning regular steam irons and as you can see I have a gravity feed iron but I'm hoping that it'll work to do the cleaning really well. I bought this on Amazon, it was really inexpensive and so I'm hopeful that it'll do a good job cleaning my iron. Um, hopefully you can see it's pretty dirty. Let's get started. So first up, I'm going to switch my iron on because this cleaner works with a hot iron. I'm not going to disconnect it from the water. It did, the instructions do say to make sure that your iron doesn't have any water in it. Um, but as long as I don't press the steam button, my iron won't have any water in it, I don't think. So I think, I think we're going to be fine. I'm not going to press the steam button. The other thing I need to do, and I think I'll go do this while the iron is heating up, I really need to clean my silicone iron rest. It's pretty disgusting. I'm kind of embarrassed to show you. Um, but I'm going to take this upstairs and just scrub it in the sink. So I'm going to do that while my iron heats up. I'll be right back. Well, that's much better, isn't it? All right. So iron. Inside this box, we have instructions, very useful, a green cloth, a white towel, and the cleaner. So what the instructions say to do, if I can get them open, um, so they tell you to put it on cotton setting. So I guess I'll put it about in the middle. Okay, so it says to apply two inches of cleaner to the cloth. I think that's about the right amount there. You see how hot this is? It's pretty hot. Okay, rub hot iron in a circular motion over the cloth with the cleaner. It will smoke. That's normal. Hmm. Well, it's turning the... cloth black, so it's doing something. Yeah, it's definitely getting something off. So yeah, moving in a circle. And then I'm supposed to pick it up and rub it on here to remove any excess cleaner. Okay, my iron still doesn't look clean at all. Okay. Let's, uh, let's try again. So I sped this portion of the video up a little bit. It turned out that my iron was so dirty that I needed to keep rubbing it against this cloth and adding more cleaner and rubbing it against the cloth and adding more cleaner until the entire tube of cleaner was gone. Uh, my iron was apparently really, really dirty. So I just sped this part up a little bit so that you guys don't need to watch me using uh, my iron, rubbing it against a cloth for 20 straight minutes. So you can thank me later. Wipe it on here to make sure all the excess cleaner is off. That's looking nice. Oh yeah, that's nice and shiny. Okay, we're looking good. Okay, so here's an old towel. Uh, we use these, this towel for drying the dog off, but it's clean. So, I'm going to do a lot of steaming. It's probably the first time this towel has ever been ironed in its life. Yeah, that looks good. Wish that the little vents were a little cleaner, but the plate is much cleaner, which is gliding a lot smoother. Okay, so my final thoughts. I think that this set worked really, really well. I paid $12.99 for this on Amazon. Um, 
and it, you know, it comes with the white cloth that you're supposed to put things over and it comes with the green cloth and it comes with the iron cleaner. You know, it works really, really well. But I would say that this faultless hot iron cleaner was $4.99 on Amazon, also on Amazon, and it's the same cleaner. So if you can provide your own soft cloth and terry cloth, then I don't know that you need to buy the kit. That said, you could also buy the kit and then the next time you need to clean your iron, which admittedly, I don't do that often. So it's not like $12.99 is the end of the world, but um, the next time you need to clean your iron, you could get the cheaper faultless iron cleaner. I really think the green microfiber cloth is kind of the only special thing in here. This is basically just a washcloth. That said, you will ruin your washcloth, so I don't think I'll be getting this back even if I wash it, so that's something to consider. I do think after having smelled and looked at both of these things that the cleaner is exactly the same. My iron was very dirty. Like I said, I don't clean it that often, and so I used the entire tube of cleaner. Nothing left in there. I squeezed it. You saw. Um, but you know, it did a great job. My iron is gliding really nicely now, and I think I should resolve to clean it a little bit more often than I do. It's a good idea to clean your iron. Don't be like me and only do it every several years. I have a link to everything that I used in this video, to both types of iron cleaners, and I'll leave a link to my iron. I love my iron. I've had this for years, and I want to take good care of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe down below, hit the like button, leave me a comment. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!